working with Publisher 2010 to talk about a couple of things here. Columns, story jumps, and adding graphics. Uh, a story jump, if you look in here, we have a, a column here, some blank pages here. It's continued. You could have continued on page or continued from page. When you see these three dots in a text box, it means it's continued. I click on the three dots. I go to page three. If I click any place, it gives me the thing. And then I can position, make it go over to here, make it deeper if I want to. So let's say we want to cover the page. I'm going to talk about separating this into three columns later on. So we've got that. We're going to go on to the dot here, over here. I'm going to click over here, and let's just say we want something here. Just doing this for visual effect. We're on page one here. I want to say that this is continued on page three. So I just right click inside here and I go to format text box. I click on text box. I'm going to say continued on page. Say OK. And if I zoom this up just a little bit, it says continued on page three. Now we're on page three here. We want to say where it's continued from and what page it's continuing on. If you see something like this one line here, we'll talk about this later, fixing things up. So I right click in here. I go into format text box, text box, check off these two things, say OK. So it says continued from page one, continued on page four. I can make this a little deeper if I want. I can affect margins if I need to. And if I don't want this word plate here, and if I go into here, you have two things that you could do. I could pull this just down a little bit. It's going too low now. Um, I could also do something with the spacing here, like this paragraph. It's called changing the letting and I'm just going to click in this paragraph here I'm going to right click I'm going to left click on it's not showing this in here sometimes right clicking doesn't always catch it so what I'm going to do here I'm going to go onto the home tab paragraph group and it says line spacing here or I could say between lines and if I say OK, it tightens it up. You could see it in here. So you're not getting this little orphan page here. If I were doing this, I would do it consistently throughout the whole column here rather than just this one. Next thing, we're on this page here. Let's say we want to put this into three columns. You could have three text box columns, which is what I definitely do prefer. But if you're trying to get this done quickly, you got a newsletter that you're publishing within the next two hours or 20 minutes. You go on to text box tools format. And to do this, you click on columns. You just say three columns. It's done. Uh, I want to talk about graphics and other things here. If you're putting it in, what I like about working with publisher versus Word is that you don't have to go crazy formatting um, with floating and things. So if I go to page parts, I do this. I want just the column width, pull it in here, and then I could just pull it up, move it down. I'm using the arrow keys much easier. And if I want something to go across two columns, I go into page parts. I click on this. I've got this. It actually almost fits over two columns. I could just go pull it down, pull it over here. So I have it fitting in there. Of course, you're going to have to do your tweaking and stuff. Uh, and if I, what's really nice, like in this here, it says continued on page three. But if you insert a couple of pages, what it's going to say here, continued from page one, of course. 
However, when you're on here, you go down there, I hold it here, it's going to say on page 5. One thing I will suggest, I know when you're doing the title page for your newsletter, you're going to try to get as many news stories on there. If you're going to continue it on page 3, continue it on page 3 and 4. Don't go hog wild saying going from page 3 to page 7 to page 12 to page 19. Disconcerting to the reader. However, a lot of places do this so it gets you to flip through the pages and to see the advertisements that are in there.